Now on Coast TV News. More money for workers. Minimum wage has officially jumped here in the first state. The business of New Year's resolutions, how your goals for 2024 actually boost the economy. Well, some showers have moved through Delmarva this evening. I'll let you know when the rain will completely clear out of the area. Coming up in just a few moments. Another dredging delay, the Lewis project that was supposed to be done already. That's got a new timeline. And Israeli court protects its power. Why the nation may be facing a constitutional crisis in the middle of a war. This is Coast TV News at 11. Big pay raise for Delmarva employees. Good evening, I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Mallory Metzner has the night off. Welcome to our news at 11. We begin tonight with bigger paychecks for low wage workers on the peninsula. The new year means a new minimum wage for Delawareans. The lowest paid workers in the state are getting a $1.50 bump that takes it up to $13.25 an hour. Coast TV News reporter Elisa Weber spoke with Bethany Beach employees who say they need this extra money just to survive. Now that we're into the new year, minimum wage workers in Delaware are making $1.50 an hour more than they were just last week, or $60 more for a 40-hour work week. Sabrina Warner, who works at a local store in Bethany Beach, says this is a big deal. With the housing uh, cost continuing to rise, people need to live and support themselves, and it's very hard to do that on such a low amount for minimum wage. Warner hopes the increase will encourage people to take jobs that have been hard to fill recently. I mean, people that work in retail or the restaurants, um, they're needed. People have to work those jobs in order for other people to, you know, so I just think it should be more of a even playing field. Another employee is happy to see a few extra bucks but she understands why it can put a stress on small business owners. I feel like, especially here in Bethany Beach, which is the quiet resort, I love living here, but the holidays are over now, and I think it's gonna slow down a lot. And, um, you know, we're not gonna have the, the flow of customers coming into the store as, you know, say over the holidays and definitely over the summertime. And I almost feel some kind of, like, guilt working here if, if there's no customers to help and to be of service. But the owner has said if we're not open, we don't have the chance to make a sell. So I, I see both sides of the story. This wage increase has been a controversial topic, and I saw that firsthand out today while covering the story. Some employees were reticent to talk with their bosses around, and some store owners didn't want to go on camera because they were concerned their opinion on the rate hike wouldn't be well received. Again, that was Elisa Weber. Now, this is not the last time that employees in the first state can expect to see a minimum wage increase. According to the Delaware Department of Labor, in 2025, minimum wage is gonna drum, jump again, this time up to $15 an hour. Meanwhile, heading over to Maryland, the state is at $15 an hour for minimum wage. That started today. Governor Wes Moore signed a bill accelerating the minimum wage increase to that $15 an hour figure that is effective as of today, January 1st, 2024. Maryland's last minimum wage increase was from $12.50 to $13.25. That was a year ago at this time. The Maryland and Delaware state directors at the National Federation of Independent Business says it's putting a pinch on small businesses. They're saying, look, inflation is killing us. The, the cost of goods is going up. Add on top this wage increase that the General Assembly handed down to small businesses. They, they, have no, they have no choice but to raise their prices on their customers and consumers. Tipped workers in Maryland will be making the same $3.63 an hour if they get more than $30 a month in tips. Sticking with Money Matters here on Delmarva, a new report out from the site MoneyWise has revealed that Delaware is on the podium for states where residents find it easier to reach their financial goals. The first state was third overall following Vermont and Maine. Maryland, on the other hand, was a bit further down the line, coming in at 40th. According to the report, Delaware has the lowest personal bankruptcy rate of any state 
and the third highest homeownership rates. To come up with this list, MoneyWise scored each state on seven major factors that included things like household debt to income ratio, unemployment rate. They even looked at the average monthly Google searches for terms related to savings and investments. Let's take a live look outside right now into the Ocean City area. We have seen some weather come through over the course of the day. Our first alert, meteorologist Alex Seymour filling in for Paul Williams. Alex, what can you tell us? Well, yeah, we certainly have been dealing with a few showers, very light rain showers that have been passing through the region throughout the last several hours. The good news is that's going to start to move out of the area pretty soon. It has for the most part across many areas here along the coast, and that's going to continue to happen over the next hour or so. Boardwalk Plaza Hotel Camera and Rehoboth Beach. We've still got those cloudy skies, no rain to speak of right now in Rehoboth Beach. Temps sitting right around 43 degrees. We can see on our live radar, still a few of those very light rain showers passing through the area. One near Lewis, just north of Lewis. That is going to move south. So expect some drizzly conditions again for another hour or two. And then that's going to start to clear out of the area. It's all associated with an area of low pressure swinging through the backside of the clouds, moving towards the I-95 quarter off to our north and west. That's going to reach us as we head towards tomorrow morning as East 10th. Once the clouds clear out, falling from the 40s into the low 30s by sunrise. And for more weather updates, make sure you pull out your phone, scan the QR code. You can see it there on your screen right now. You can get the first alert weather app. You can download the app for free to get all the weather updates you need. And whether you are looking to get in shape or maybe even drink a little bit less, another new year means another chance to meet your new year's goals. But as Coast TV reporter Tori Seagrave shows us, your resolution has an impact on more than just you. It has an impact on local businesses as well. Breaking a sweat on the treadmill or cutting back on the booze. The new year is all about becoming a new you. And businesses like Midway Fitness say hundreds join at the beginning of the month. Our summer people, we don't see them because they work in a restaurant or they're just away um, or busy outside. And then they tend to come back right also around the same time. So I think sometimes we have the January effect and then some of our regulars that have just now that it's cold, they're not running outside, they're back. Even liquor stores see an uptick in sales thanks to the holiday. Yeah, champagne is top of the list because of the new year, as you know. And we have, as you see, we have a lot of champagne, so we set, we expecting to go more and more than the last year. But resolutions are hard to keep. The gym here says that people who begin a membership in January tend to stop coming after about two months. And at Lewis Wine and Spirits, people who are trying to drink less alcohol tend to only keep that habit for a couple of weeks. However, Patel says trends like non-alcoholic drinks have made it easier for people looking to sober up. So, and we sell a lot of non-alcoholic champagne, beer, and so it's going to be there, here and there, but yeah, people are going to take resolution end of the new year. Nobody's resist without drinking, you know. Finding ways to stick to the new you this new year. So whether your new year's resolution lasts one month, one week, or just one day, there's a whole new year ahead to make those better changes for yourself while supporting local businesses. I'm Tori Seagraves in Lewis, Coast TV News. And I think this is a great time to bring us into our Coast TV poll. We want to know how successful are your resolutions. Let's take a look at the updated results from earlier this evening. This has been changing all throughout the evening. And you can see right now, don't set them at all. That is the leader, 65%. At one point today, it was high as, as high as 82%. Uh, then you can see some of the other runners here. I complete them as 23%. They last a week. They last a month, running a little bit low there at just 6% each. If you haven't voted yet, you still can at coasttvnews.com or use the mobile app, and we'll show you updated results later in the newscast. U.S. forces exchanged fire with rebel forces in the Red Sea. The Navy said it was responding to a distress signal when one of its choppers were targeted. NBC's Jay Gray has the latest from Tel Aviv. Yeah, look, the situation in the Red Sea began with a distress call from a cargo ship there. U.S. Navy choppers responding. At that point, say, they say they were fired on by Houthi rebels and returned that fire, sinking three ships killing 10 men on board those ships. It's the first response we've seen 
from U.S. troops that have ended with a fatality. Uh, that certainly ramps up the situation, which has been escalating over the last month or so. Uh, U.S. troops have been fired on from uh, organizations in Yemen, in the Red Sea, and uh, surrounding areas, so a lot of concern there. While Israeli troops continue uh, to gather along the border with Lebanon, more troops moving in, more equipment, tanks, and, and other equipment there, and that's a continuous back and forth. So not only here in Israel, but globally, there is a big concern that this could ultimately become a, another front in this war. All of that while the ongoing war in Gaza continues with a lot of focus right now in the Han Yunus area. Uh, we know that it is a densely populated urban area. The fighting has been very intense. The IDF says that they believe Hamas leadership is hiding in that area. And so they're really focused on trying to find all of that while they continue with airstrikes as well. Uh, they do say that they've eliminated a lot of the command and control structures, a lot of the military facilities, including some of the missile launch sites. And they say that they are continuing to find and eliminate tunnels in that region as well. And what leadership here in Tel Aviv and military leaders on the ground in Gaza are saying is that this is a process that's going to continue months into the new year. That's the latest from here in Tel Aviv. I'm Jay Gray. Back to you. In related news, Israel's Supreme Court today struck down a law that curbed the court's power. The law, backed by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, was part of an extensive judicial overhaul. It removed one of the court's tools for halting government decisions that it considers, quote, unreasonable. If the prime minister's government fails to honor today's decision by the high court, then Israel could face a constitutional crisis in the middle of the war it's fighting with Hamas. Happening now in Laurel, a new curfew for teens. Uh, on Monday, December 18th, the mayor and council approved amendments to the curfew ordinance with amendments going into effect this evening. Moving forward, the curfew for all people under the age of 17 and younger will be 11 p.m. Monday through Sunday. Let's go live now to the Bay Bridge, where starting tomorrow, lanes are going to be closed, and that's going to impact traffic. You can see it's moving pretty good right now. The MDTA says that it's mostly going to be on the eastbound side, and two-way traffic will be redirected to the westbound span. It's for preservation and maintenance that is set to end next Saturday. New in Lewis, according to the city's website, dredging of the Lewis Rehoboth Canal, which was scheduled to be completed at the end of December, that's been pushed back. In a post on the city's website, it states that dredge it will continue work through the end of January with daily operations from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Dredging has not been completed in the canal since 2002. Engineers say dredging is necessary for safety purposes. Happening in Ellendale this Saturday, the town's election for town council positions. The election will be held at Town Hall from 1 to 7 p.m. and three seats are open with two-year terms for each of those seats. Before the election, the town will be holding a meet, in the, a meet the Candidates event. That's on January 3rd. That would be Wednesday at the Ellendale Fire Hall. That event is 6 to 8 p.m. Happening tomorrow, the Delaware Emergency Management Agency says that it's ringing in this new year with the sound of sirens. A test scheduled for January 2nd at 10.45 a.m. Don't let that scare you. This is to ensure that all of the agency's safety measures are on point and up to date. We are just getting going this evening. Still to come, hop on in. Water's fine. Why this wild bunch was freezing for a reason this morning. Well, Delmarva will be looking forward to several chances of wet weather over the next week. I'll be tracking all those storms coming up just after the break. Next, jackpot. Big money on the line for Powerball. Win or lose, everybody seems to have a dream of how they would spend the money. We're going to be back in 60 seconds. Hi, welcome to Toyota Thon. Thanks. Now that the holidays are over, I'm getting a Camry. <laughs> and, we're and we're getting, getting a RAV4 hybrid. hybrid. And I'm getting a Tundra. Oh, and you're getting a belly rub. And I'm getting a truck. 
Toyota Found Deals are here. Take 1,000 Toyota down payment cash on 24 Camrys, available with all-wheel drive, or get 1,000 toward your down payment on a stylish Corolla. Come in today, but you're already here. Toyota, let's go places. The world's number one selling farm tractor. Easy to operate and more powerful than your average tractor. Mahindra Tractors. Push more, pull more, lift more. With more torque and lower engine maintenance, Mahindra tractors are rugged and tough. We know how much you love your land, so we want you to love your tractor. Get your next Mahindra tractor today. Southern States of Milford, improving farming and improving life. Rooted since 1948. This is Coast TV News at 11. As far as get rich quick plans go, few of them draw in as many participants is Powerball. I actually have a ticket in my hand right now. Turns out I didn't win. But big money was on the line tonight. The prize growing to an estimated $810 million with a cash, a cash option of $408 million. One man we spoke with said if he won, he'd share it with those around him. Yeah, I got a good group of people I work with. So I would say the other six of us, I would, the other six people on the team, I would split with them and just if they want to retire retire like I said I probably stay working just because it's fun at first going okay yeah you know you're on vacation per se for a week and then after that I just be bored and be like okay I just need to get out of the house do something in case you were wondering the winning numbers 21 49 44 42 12 and 1 I didn't get it well, not quite high enough for me to um, play just yet. I'm sure nobody won tonight. That's probably the most likely scenario, and it's going to go for a billion dollars. That seems like what it's been doing every six months now recently. So we'll see, and then I'll buy a ticket if it hits that billion dollar mark. I wouldn't be like the last guy and say that I'd go back to work, though I'd probably not. <laughs> All right, so as we head throughout the next 24 hours, we're going to start to see conditions quiet down across the region as some pretty chilly weather starts to move into the area. Orsted camera in West Ocean City, still cloudy out there. We've still been dealing with some of that drizzle passing through the area as temps sit right around 42 degrees. That's going to come to an end pretty soon, but we can see on our live radar still those patchy areas of drizzle moving through Lewis, moving through Milton this evening, Bridgeville, that's dropping south. Along with that dropping south and swinging through the region, the back edge of the clouds is starting to drop south. That is now reaching the I-95 corridor from pretty much Wilmington, Delaware, all the way towards Washington, D.C. and Baltimore area. That is going to continue through the area and within a couple of hours, we're going to start to see those clear skies take over. Once those clear skies take over, which will happen well before sunrise tomorrow morning, our temps are going to start to tumble. So expect those temps, which are in the 40s right now, to fall down to close to freezing. So you'll want to grab a jacket, bundle up as you head back to work tomorrow and a lot of people heading back to school a lot of kids heading back to school a lot of teachers heading back to school tomorrow tomorrow afternoon sunshine temps in the low to mid 40s across the region and we're going to stay with those sunny skies as we head into wednesday clouds start to thicken up as we head towards thursday that's our next chance of some wet weather very light rain possible maybe even a few wet snowflakes thursday morning as an area of low pressure starts to pass off to our south and east going to remain weak not a huge deal another big storm that's going to start to push through the region as we head towards saturday into sunday this area of low pressure going to be a bigger deal across the region right now though there's been rumors that we could see some snow right now it doesn't look like that's going to be the case the reason take a look at this these arrows here that's you showing the wind direction coming out of the east. We're going to likely see some very strong easterly winds as the storm tracks towards our area. The thing is, those easterly winds are going to be coming off of water temperatures. Take a look at that. 50 degrees. That's five, six, seven degrees above the average water temperature for this time of year. So east winds, strong east winds coming off a 50 degree Atlantic. That's not going to allow much in the way of cold enough air here on Delmarva. So right now, this weekend, looking mainly wet. Paul Davis, frustration and home remodeling, seven-day forecast. We're dry, just chilly the next couple of days. Rain showers on Thursday, then Saturday and Sunday. Rainy, wet, windy, just a messy, messy weekend on the way. Thanks, Alex. Still to come, playoff football, Michigan and Alabama in a contest. 
that could not be contained by regulation. And next, taking the plunge, this splish splash helped Bethany beachgoers charge into the new year with big energy and even bigger goosebumps. Flu season brings the constant caroling of sneezing, sniffling, and whining children. 30% of people infected with influenza do not know it, making it easy to infect others, especially young children. Your best shot? A flu vaccination for yourself and those you love. Your Doxin offers flu shots seven days a week, no appointment needed. Flu shots for veterans are always free. Get your flu shot today. Your Doxin, in partnership with Tidal Health. When you visit the Delmarva Design Center, you'll experience a selection of appliances, cabinetry, countertops, tile, and flooring all together in one showroom. The 10,000 square foot location has a variety of inspiring samples for any project size or budget. Your dedicated product experts and designers collaborate to bring your dream project to life. Come and see what the kitchen industry buzz is all about. Experience the Delmarva Design Center in Selbyville, Delaware, serving all of Delmarva's coast. Sam Caligioni here, inviting you to visit Dogfish this off-season. Enjoy daily specials at our locations like 12 wings for only $10 on Sundays and wood fire nights every Tuesday and Thursday in Rehoboth at Brewings and Eats. Or check out $15 lobsters on Lobster Sundays next door at Chesapeake and Maine. At Milton's Craft Brewery, visit us weekly for Monday trivia, Tuesday craft cocktail night, and more. Come explore goodness at our Dogfish locations this off-season. Cheers. Our biggest sale of the year is back at Pohanka Volkswagen. It's Pohankathon. Our best offers start now on every new vehicle in stock, including Jetta, Arteon, and ID4. Take advantage of Volkswagen signed, then drive leases on a new 2024 Tiguan. Get low 72 month financing on new Atlas Tiguan or Taos. Then get through the holidays by making no car payments for 90 days. Incredible year end savings are here. It's all happening now during Pohankathon at Pohanka Volkswagen of Salisbury. <laughs> Plunging into the new year earlier today, some very brave beachgoers, very brave, gathered in Bethany to take part in the annual Hair of the Dog 5K and the Leo Brady Cold Plunge. By purchasing a ticket for the event, plungers helped raise money for scholarships and grants to local students through the Quiet Resorts Charitable Foundation. One event coordinator told Coast TV seeing people start the new year in a healthy way means a lot to him. It's a, what a great way to start the new year is the fact that uh, we have people that are maybe had a good time last night, enjoyed New Year's Eve, and now they're coming out to do something healthy for themselves. And so that makes me feel good just to see people doing things healthy for themselves. Purcell said that this was the 27th year the cold plunge has been hosted and every year it's so exciting to see everybody participate. Now on to sporting news, no DSN tonight, so I'm gonna shepherd you through this one. College football playoffs, big names in a big game. Number four, Alabama on number, going against number one, Michigan, late fourth quarter, the Wolverines trailing. Uh, well, they're on the doorstep though. Play action pass to Blake Corum. And he struts in, game even at 20. We're heading to overtime. Michigan getting the ball first. More from Corum. Nobody going to break his stride. Nobody going to slow him down. Oh, no. He's got to keep on moving. 27-20 Wolverines. Last shot for the Tide here. And quarterback Jalen Milrow. Just no shot. This play never had a chance. Michigan escapes with the win in an overtime victory. The Wolverines heading to the college football championship game. And so that was one half of the college football semifinals. The other half is ongoing. Texas and Washington, they're going head to head. Right now, Washington leading 28-21. It's in the third quarter. The winner of this one is going to face Michigan for that title. We love decorating for the holidays and seeing your homes. Go ahead and take a look at your screen. We've got a great holiday house from Gina Pikes in Milford. Happy New Year and thank you for sharing. Also, we wanted to let you guys know today was the last day to share homes. So thank you to everybody that shared their festive holiday houses this season to Coast TV News. It made the whole holiday season just a little brighter. Coming up next, make the resolution, stick to the tips and the tricks, 
that can help improve your health as we charge into 2024. There are many signs that can indicate your loved ones are struggling to take care of themselves. Poor hygiene, a messy house, unexplained weight loss, the list goes on. In-home care is a delicate subject, but can greatly improve their quality of life. Express your concerns without accusing. Involve them in decisions and enlist the help of others. Homewell Care Services provides quality in-home care 24-7 or short-term care when you need it most. To learn more about Homewell Care Services, visit DelmarvaExperts.com. 20 years ago, Farmers Bank of Wheelers opened branches to serve Ocean City and West OC. Now, we're making it official with permanent locations to better serve our customers in Worcester County. While other banks are closing branches, we're banking on Ocean City's future. Sure, we have a world-class app, but sometimes there's no substitute for helpful, friendly people. Announcing our grand opening on 87th Street, North Ocean City, and coming in 2024, West OC on Route 611. Switch to the Farmer's Bank of Willards, where people matter. Pulling up to a great looking home is nice. Curb appeal is important. But here on the coast, even more important is dock appeal. At TNG Builders, if you can dream it, we can create it. For uncompromising quality, contact TNG Builders to design and build your coastal dream home. Over 30 years of integrity, empathy, and love. TNG Builders, the sign of quality. Visit us online at tg-builders.com. Have you bought a house in the last decade, but it's just not quite big enough? At Paul Davis, we can design and build you a brand new addition or remodel your whole home from start to finish. With over 50 years experience of building and restoring homes, we've made the process quick and easy while making it affordable. Call Paul Davis today and one of our design consultants can be your home as soon as tomorrow to give you a free estimate for your new addition or whole home remodel. Or visit our new showroom in Salisbury, Maryland, 100 Marble Road. At Atlantic General Hospital, we've been busy. Busy expanding healthcare services that are second to none in our region. From cancer care, and women's health services, to orthopedics, gastroenterology, and more, we provide advanced health technologies delivered by top providers. Expert care every day. It's what you can count on from Atlantic General Hospital. That time of year again where we set out to make a better version of ourselves. But research shows that many people give up on their resolutions, sometimes within weeks, sometimes just days into the new year. In today's Health Minute, Mandy Gaither has tips on how to make your 2024 resolutions stick. From exercising more to eating better. If you're looking to make a change in the new year, you're not alone. But bad habits can be hard to shift. Change is not like a light switch. It is a process. Clinical psychologist Susan Alberts with Cleveland Clinic says the first way to help make resolutions stick is to be specific about our goals. Our brains love to know the direction that we are going. So instead of saying, I want to exercise more, make a specific goal, such as 20 minutes of walking a day. This is going to make you much more successful in completing this goal. Albert says to also be realistic. Setting goals that aren't sustainable can make resolutions fall flat. This is because we tend to set behaviors that are too different from where we are at at this very moment. Anticipating obstacles. This is a helpful strategy for continuing resolutions. Albert says stopping a behavior is harder than starting one. So instead of trying not to eat any more junk food, she says to try setting a goal to eat more fruits and veggies. And finally, link a new behavior to an existing one. For example, if you drink coffee every morning, but you want to start exercising, link the exercise to drinking the coffee. Have it be the very next behavior that you do. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. Albers says it's always good to set resolutions with others. She says that creating a goal list with your family can help keep everybody accountable, keep them engaged, and help everybody stay on the same page all throughout the year. And this brings us right back to our Coast TV poll one more time. We want to know how successful are your resolutions? Let's take a look at the updated results from earlier this evening. And so far, most people saying they just don't set them, but I complete them comes in at 22%.
It's pretty impressive. I personally have done just about everything on this list, although I do usually set my goals. If you have not voted yet, you still can at coasttvnews.com or use our Coast TV mobile app and online. That's where you can find the results. Coming up next, Snoop Dogg going for the gold. The famed rapper is going to play a role in the upcoming Summer Olympics. We explain after the break. We're Coast Country, and we're Delmarva Proud. Life. Just when you think you've got it made, you've got another thing coming. To which we say, bring it on. Your heart needs a hand? We've got hands committed to saving hundreds of hearts each year. You're facing a storm? Hey, storm, is that all you've got? Because we've got more. More ways to help, to provide hope with a commitment to your health that runs deep. Our biggest sale of the year is back at Polenka Ford. It's Polhankathon with our best offers on every vehicle in stock, including Escape, Bronco, and Mach-E. That means you'll find financing as low as 0% for 60 months on new Edge and Explorer, 2.9% for 72 months on a new F-150 with over 60 to choose from, and take up to 90 days to make your first payment. Huge year-end savings are here during Polhankathon at Polenka Ford of Salisbury. Hey moms, you know those unforgettable face palms? Those moments that leave us both laughing and sighing. They're not just mishaps, they're our shared stories. Share your unique mom moments with us. Go to coastlife.com slash mom. Do you want longer lasting appliances? No more water spots, scaling or stains. Softer and brighter laundry? Start by refining your water with Shore Water Refining. For over 50 years, we've been creating bottle quality water right from your faucet. One of the best things you can do for your health is to drink pure, clean water. So call today for a free water test, a free system design, and mention this ad for 10% off a whole house system. Affordable, refined water, guaranteed. Only from Shore Water Refining. Some people will stop at nothing to get your stuff. Get solid security and protect yourself from theft, fire, and accidents with American-made Rhino at Southern States in Milford. Experience peace of mind with financing available when you buy local from the only Rhino dealer on Delmarva. They'll deliver and set it up for you, too. Ask about Rhino's Thank You for Your Service rebate program. Protect your stuff with Rhino. Everything else is just storage. Securing Delmarva one safe at a time. Southern States of Milford. On the Jennifer Hudson Show. Inspiring story. I can do it! That's right! The biggest stars. I love Jennifer! Here you go. Tuesday at 2 on Coast TV. News, the Paris Olympics will grab the attention of the world this summer, and Snoop D-O-double-G is going to be joining the coverage. The official announcement came during halftime of Sunday night football between the Packers and the Minnesota Vikings. The dog father also posted this video to his ex-account today dancing underneath the Eiffel Tower with the caption, quote, New Year Mood, Paris 2024 Olympics, see you this summer. Now, throughout the game, Snoop is going to be speaking with NBC Olympic host Mike Tirico and provide the large primetime U.S. audience with his unique take on what's happening in Paris. NBC's coverage of the 2024 games scheduled to begin July 26th through August 11th. We've got some stormy weather on the way over the next 7 to 10 days here along the coast. So certainly you're going to need to keep some rain gear handy this evening. New winner of our Coast TV Umbrella giveaway, Diane Fiore from Frankfurt, Delaware. Congratulations. Certainly going to need that umbrella over the next 7 to 10 days as I was just talking about. We can see that on our Paul Davis restoration and home remodeling 10-day forecast. While we will be dry the next two days once the showers this evening move out of the area, Temps are going to be chilly. Rain moves back in on Thursday. Very light rain showers Thursday morning. We dry out Friday, then Saturday into Sunday. Big time coastal storm on the way. We're expecting rain. We're expecting wind. And we're expecting some pretty significant coastal issues. We want to be like a nor'easter hitting the area Saturday into Sunday. Monday we dry out, and then we've got another big rainstorm on the way by next Tuesday. So through the next 10 days, several inches of rain likely going to fall. Alex Seymour, always on top of things. Thanks, Alex, and thank you for joining us for Coast TV News at 11. For more news, more local weather, download our Coast TV News app. The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, that's coming up next. We'll see you tomorrow for Coast TV News at 5 a.m. Have a great night.